and click the live transcript button too down in the bottom of the screen. Very good. Thank you for the reminder. Assign to a participant type. Use a third party live track and enable live transcript. Yeah. That's what Jackie said we got to do. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I want to stay on everybody's good side. Okay. So let's call the meeting to order uh, of the executive committee for the Otter Creek Communication Union District. Uh, I, I have the agenda. Van, can you share the agenda on the screen so just we can yeah. um, follow along on uh, uh, all together? Any, I think we, probably the first thing we should do is uh, approve the agenda for this meeting. Sorry about that. It's okay. Okay, thanks. So I guess the first thing we should do is approve the agenda. Anyone have any additions or modifications to the agenda for this meeting? I do not, but if nothing hurt, I'll make a motion that if you need do we, to- Do we, just, just one question. Uh, do, we, do we need to approve previous meeting minutes? Or did we not have a quorum for the last executive committee meeting that we then so everything's? I think we did have a quorum on the last one, yes. Yeah, I kind of thought we did as well. Do we have the meeting minutes or are we still waiting on those? I, I, don't, uh, I don't have them. Okay. Um, and I'm, we, didn't, we didn't have Jessica, so. Okay. So, I, I will I will put on my list to go through this is something we, we probably should take care of for the the next meeting is to approve the previous board meeting minutes or executive committee meeting minutes yeah. and then uh, approve the agenda before we sort of get kick things off okay uh, so who who I'm sorry who who was making a motion to uh, approve the I was going to make a motion to accept this agenda as it's here. Okay. Second. Okay. Larry. Larry. Oh, this um, is, uh, excuse me, this is Jessica. Can people state their names when they make the motion? Because you don't all appear on my screen. Okay. This is Chris Custer. Chris Custer Hubberton has made the motion to accept the uh, meeting agenda. Tim Monks Castleton seconded that. Thanks so much. Okay, any um, discussion? Uh, this is Bill Moore, Brandon. Uh, just, I just, did we, I, I can't see it because it's so small on my phone, but does it have financials on there? Because I remember that uh, I was, Van sent yeah, an email there too. Okay, yeah. so it's, yeah. It's, I don't have my glasses on, so. Okay, any other discussion on the agenda? All those in favor? Uh, of approving the agenda, state aye or give me a thumbs up, please. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, the ayes have it. The agenda is approved. Thank you. Um, all right, first, uh, general updates. Uh, review the status of the RFP for a partner. Um, I guess I can start off a little bit uh, and uh, tell you what I know. Uh, so the, the RFP responses are due the 25th of this month. We've gotten one uh, response so far from, I don't remember their, I don't know they're doing business under name, but it's it's essentially Otelco for the three towns um, in the northern northern and uh, sort of western section of our, uh, of the OCCUD. Um, we haven't gotten a response yet from uh, 
consolidated. Um, but we have had uh, one or two other uh, folks. I actually got an email today uh, from uh, uh, an advisory firm in Burlington uh, who who was interested in in the uh, in what we're doing. And so I sent them the link to the uh, RFP. I don't know whether this is a, you know, is a, a viable potential alternative, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to see, I guess, when, if we get a response from them. Uh, is there anything I'm missing, Bill, Van, anybody else? Uh, the only thing I think it's Go Net Speed. Is that oh yeah, that's the name of the. That's, that's the name that Otelco is doing business under for this. Um, for this RFP response, at least for and. Right. The only the only thing I responded to them uh, today, I looked uh, back at our maps because I thought there were four towns, and there there are, uh, Hubbardton, uh, Sudbury, Benson and about a third of Castleton. Okay. And they had left out Castleton. They did leave out Castleton? Yeah, I think it was just an omission. Um, they don't serve the whole town. They just go over the, the border. Yeah. Yeah, I think just, just right where it borders Hubbardton. I was, uh, I've got to look at, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Did the proposal say sealed bids would be open on, on May 25th, um, at whatever time? The, R, the RFP request? Yes. John? No. Yes. It, um, but we haven't, I mean, we have not circulated that, um, that RFP response. And I don't really have any intention to do that until the 25th. Okay. Just so that we don't have any... Uh, like you, like I'm assuming that you're alluding to that, you know, we don't have any potential for somebody to accuse us of, you know, providing somebody with inside information on a competitor or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we really shouldn't be discussing one one company's bids if there's other bids coming in. And yeah, I I, I agree. I was just uh, letting folks know that we've got that wrong response basically. Okay, any other. Any other uh, questions or comments regarding this RFP? Do we do we need to reach out to them about the omission of Castleton, or what? What are your thoughts there? I, I think Dan's already done that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, B the the. Uh, review the status of the RFP for project manager. I, I am not sure, Van, what day that closes. It closed that, yesterday. Okay, and we did get a response. I th I've seen one response, but I haven't seen any others. That is the only response. Yeah, and so um, I guess the, the next step with respect to that RFP is to have a, a just a small selection committee uh, subset probably of the executive committee, look at the RFP, see if they have questions or comments, uh, see if they believe the person or who or the, the company who responded is qualified, and then go from there. Anybody have any uh, desire to uh, lead that small selection committee? I'm think, thinking like two, three people. I'd serve on that committee. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I'll, I'll serve on that also. Okay. Thanks. So I, I'm happy to, to be the third member. I don't, I don't think we need much more than that. Anybody else is welcome to, but I just don't think we need a lot of folks. Unless somebody's really interested, I'm happy to be the third member. Was was that Tim that offered? Or? Yeah. Tim. Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay. All right. Anything else on that issue? Okay. Uh, third item on the agenda is the VCBB updates. Ben, I, I wasn't able to attend the call yesterday. Uh, were you able were you able to talk to Rob Fish? Did, yep. Was there any updates from him? 
there was he didn't have a lot to to go over. He did ask if I would send him the copy of Otelco's uh, proposal because they have also received a proposal from Otelco somehow to do it without the CUD, maybe in the towns north of Rutland's line. And I didn't see a problem with that, seeing as he's sort of our mentor guide to the state funding. So I, I sent that along to him. Other than that, he did not have anything else to, to offer. Okay. John, any concerns from your perspective on that, that we've sent it to Rob apparently? No, that's fine. Okay. Just want to make sure we don't run afoul of anything. Okay. Anything else, Bill, or anyone else on the VCBB updates? Yeah, I've got one, Tony. Um, yep. At the last Pakuda meeting, uh, we didn't get much out of the VCBB, but there were what they call two challenges to that fund of money that's going that's set aside for CUDs, one being from Otelco and the other from Tri Mountain Group. And I'm not sure where Tri Mountain Group is. So, okay. No when you say challenges for that money, are you saying that they're <clears throat> trying to understand why we're involved? Well, I think they're. You know, whatever folks out there doing, CUDs. They're, they're looking for money um, in the same way that a CUD would. Okay. So go direct, go having some kind they're of going direct directly, but it's, it's, uh, sounds like it's a tough challenge if you're not a CUD to get the funding from the VCBB. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll stay tuned on that one. Okay. Was there anything else from Bakuda? Because I don't, I see we don't have any. Uh, we don't have really, that as enough. Um, Will Anderson is leaving Friday, May 13th. Uh, some of the members are trying to pick up his caseload. Uh, other issues that really don't affect this, they went over who the preferred material supplier was, and it seems to be Calix, C A L I X, is the preferred one everyone's using. Um, and he was still working on shared services and he's waiting for responses that would uh, be shared with all the CUDs for auditing and accounting support. And that's about it from Bakuda. Okay, and I, I got an email from CalEx um, yesterday, um, just letting us know that they're, uh, it says, I'm reaching out to introduce myself and let you know, if you don't already, that we've established a consortium uh, for pricing with Vakuda on behalf of the CUDs to leverage, I guess, volume pricing. I haven't done anything with the email. I haven't responded to it. Um, I'm just, just, it's just for information, I guess, right now. And I guess we don't expect to be buying uh, fi fiber directly as a CUD, so I'm not sure yeah. It's going to matter much for, to us. I wonder whether I wonder whether uh, whoever the successful uh, partners are could access that uh, pricing if it's you know somehow better than what they have. But I mean that might be a question, Larry, if you get a chance to to ask Pakuda next time you have a meeting. But I don't think that's a I don't think it's a critical type. Uh, issue right and they may even have depending on yeah they may have better pricing they may have right? better pricing probably than do. Does. yeah it's just it just sort of making sure that we don't have uh you know we're not leaving money on the table i guess is really what it comes down to and the other thing is the access to the cable and the hardware you know another right. isp may have a better supply coming in than uh, Bakuda does. Right. Yeah. Okay. We don't know yet. We'll see. All right. Anything else on Bakuda or VCBB? No, that's it. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Next item number four discussion of the H315 uh, status and the 
uh, pre-construction grant uh, status? Uh, not much to report on that front. Hopefully. I know we issued uh, we issued the latest monthly report um, today, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there wasn't much, not much activity to report on. Uh, okay. Yeah, because we haven't we haven't you know closed the RFP, we haven't hired anybody for the project manager job yet. So, okay. Uh, Anything else on uh, the status of the grants or questions or comments from anyone? Okay, let's move on to number five. So, so Jackie, I guess this is your show. Jackie, do you want me to share the, or have you? Yeah, can you share the financials first? I, just, I, I do have a question. I have at least one question about that before we get too far down the road. Okay. Uh, you want to make that uh, Yes. I think Jackie, if you want, you can share it or I can either way. You can easier than I can. Okay. That's assuming a lot. The April financials? Yes. Yeah. yeah, the latest one that we sent out. Okay, yep, there it is. So, so Jackie, can you help me understand why we don't show any liabilities? I mean, we have, we have, we have a contract with the RP, uh, the, the Regional Planning Commission, um, which we still have money, I guess, we, we're, we're just about to commit some more money to. So I would have thought that at least that would be a liability because you know some of that some of that money's already been spent and we haven't paid uh, for it yet. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's other things, but I, I would have thought we had you know not huge liabilities, but I would have thought we had some. Right. And I don't see any. Yeah, I don't think we completely set up yet. Say again? Sorry, my computer is like. Yeah, I know the broadband. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think you're frozen, Jackie. Can't hear you, Jackie. I didn't realize that was such a hard question. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never quite understood this, uh, the way the balance sheet works, uh, but I had not, not pursued it. Because, uh, because I'm with you, uh, there seem, there is, you know, so we have a, we have an asset in, uh, uh, our trust, our trust uh, retainer with the uh, lawyer that doesn't show up here. Uh, like I say, we have obligations for our accounting services monthly and some other. So it's not a budget, I guess. It's a, what I took it to be. So it doesn't show anticipated expenses. This may be cash basis accounting so that you only have cash items come in and out. It, it certainly could be. I haven't seen what anybody describe it. Are you back with us, Jackie? Maybe. Maybe. Sort of. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. All right. You. Awesome. I have one screen that's completely black. And the other one is, I don't know, like non-existent sort of, but uh -oh. that's okay. I can talk to like a screensaver. So, um, so I think the liabilities on there have just not really been set up yet. 
to kind of go back to answer your question. Okay. Um, so, and that's just from like the beginning of, um, um, what the heck is her name? Um, Charlene taking over and doing all of the, my computer's still like dinging at me. Um, Charlene taking over and setting up all of the accounts. We never really went through and set up any of the liability accounts yet. Okay. Can um, we go, can we do that? Or is there something yeah, stopping so we us? Or? need to like try and sit down at some point to set up some of those accounts. Um, we were trying to work on figuring out the different, um, the grants and making sure that all of our expenses were getting um, expended out of the correct grant. Because at one point we had like three different grants open. Right. So, and at least now we're down to one, which yeah. is making- I mean, so at, at a minimum, right? Easier. We need some kind of, we need some kind of accounts payable. Right. right. We don't have any. We don't have any outstanding. We don't have any loans, to my knowledge. We don't need a no. um, uh, a mortgage or, or loan account. But you yep. know, we do. We do. We we have occurred or um, accrued um, liabilities that just aren't showing up, and I, I just don't want us to get in a situation where, you know, we get asked about this and can't answer. So, right. Is there is there anything you need from us to make this happen or? Um, let me sit down and talk with her um, and have a phone conversation and see kind of where we want to go from there, go from here and, you know, see what she normally does for setting these up um, on her end. And then we'll kind of, the two of us will kind of brainstorm and um, see where we're at. Okay. And then I'll touch base with you and see what else. Yeah, I don't think we need, we don't have a lot of liabilities, but like I said, we have at least an accounts payable, right? Um, yes. Because we have bills that we haven't paid, right? That's what yeah. we're going to do with the warrant. Right. So, I mean, the accounts payable is like a single, um, I mean, it's, it's a one time, you know, as the month is, you know, I don't have like a running tally. So it's like, okay, I'm okay. not putting it into her system and then running checks. Okay. So every month I'm sending her a copy of the warrant with all of the, you know, after I've already written the check and the date okay. the check's written. So she's getting everything. Yeah, it doesn't, I, I'm not worried that, I'm not worried that we're, we, we're spending money we don't have. What I'm, what I'm right. worried about is like, if we were to show this to somebody, you know, it would look very strange, I think, to not have any any liabilities. I mean, they would, somebody could ask, you know, if, are you actually conducting any business? <laughs> right, you know? yeah. Okay. Well, I mean- All right, well, I'll leave yeah. it with you and then yeah. then I'm sure we can, I'm sure, you know, next time we, we are able to sit down, we'll, we'll have a better idea. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Any so we any other questions or comments about the financials as they were issued today? I know folks probably didn't have tons of time to look at them, but okay. I'll take that as a no. And I guess the next up is the warrant. So I think it's still the Jackie Sabella show. Yeah, so, I mean, there's, you know, the Regional Planning Commission for Vans hours for the first quarter, January to March. Um, and then the two invoices from Google, um, the Google Voice um, for the telephone number that we have and um, the email service that we have for workspace um, for the $12 and $12 and one cent. Right. Um, and then the Seward and Associates every month. All right. And then we have 
So have we figured out, uh, have we sort of bottomed out the question with respect to the lawyers and whether we had money remaining in the retainer that we'd previously paid them? Yes, so we did have money remaining. Um, so Eli's, Eli's latest invoice is fully covered. We don't need to, we don't correct. need to top them up or anything like that. No. Okay. No. He, I guess they, um, he opened it under a different, he opened this one under general matters and he just didn't carry um, the retainer over. Uh, okay. This new name. So it was a problem on there. It yeah. Was a, so it was just a problem on their, on their side, side, not ours. Correct. Okay. Okay. So do we need, I think we need to approve the warrant. Is that correct? Yes, please. Okay. So I'll entertain I'd make a, a motion, motion to, no, go ahead. No more. Uh, make a motion to approve the warrant and the amount warned in the agenda. Uh, Chris Custer, Hubbardin, second. Okay. Any discussion? Okay, no. All right, please, uh, if, uh, I'll take a vote. Uh, if you approve, please signify by saying aye or give me a thumbs aye. up. And if, aye. Uh, aye. Uh, all right, any opposed? I don't hear anything, so the ayes have it. Uh, the warrant is approved. All right. Okay, number six, any other business? You want me to send uh, Tim a copy of, of the proposal we've got for project management? Yeah, that'd be uh, cool if I'm, uh, you know, interviewing. Yeah, I think, I think Bill, I think Bill, uh, Tim, and myself need to. Uh, well, I have it already. I don't know if okay. Bill has it already, um, but we need to set up a time to to discuss it. Uh, potentially interview somebody. I think the first question is, you know, do we feel they're 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 qualified? If they do, then we should probably have a quick interview. Assuming that we don't find anything that we didn't know before, then then proceed. Uh, if we, you know, if we did say that if we did find that we didn't believe they were qualified, then I guess we would, you know, have to figure out whether we ask for another RFP or uh, try to solicit somebody directly. So. Um, So, uh, Tim, can I leave it to you to set up a time for me, you, and Bill to talk? Sure. Yeah. You have yeah. our contact information so that you can, you can get yeah, all of us. I have all. your email addresses. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, I'll leave that with you. Uh, next, number seven, uh, next meeting. So does this time frame work for folks? Five o'clock on what is this? The third Wednesday of the month? Is that... Second. 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 <clears throat> okay. So that would be I don't know what date that is, right? June eighth. Um, June eighth. June eighth is the second Wednesday. Okay. All right. So let's do the so five p.m. June eighth. That'll be our next executive committee meeting. By then we should have a we should have some responses hopefully for the RFP the rest of the responses. Um, any other comments, questions, issues before we entertain a motion to adjourn? Okay, anybody want to make that motion or? This is, this is John Hill, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Larry, second. Thank you, John. All right, thank you. Any, uh, take a vote. Any, uh, all those in favor of adjourning, adjourning, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we are adjourned at 1731.
on very much whatever today is <laughs> so the 11th good, good night everybody bye 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 bye